Hi there. It's a, a drizzly day today, but it's a, the drizzle's finally eased off, so I thought I'd take a, a walk around the Mulban. Got my car parking space back yesterday. Just for those of you who uh, don't stay in Thailand, see what a average Muban looks like, or housing estate, or it's also the word for village. You can see all these houses in a row, terrace. Pretty cramped, but they have uh, space at the front and back can actually park your car inside the gate so I choose not to. I'm walking in the opposite direction from yesterday down to the end. This is the oldest part of the estate and there's a nice little uh, playground at the end of the soy. I'm basically out and about just to check on what this uh, this camera is actually like. Tried it out yesterday in the car. Seemed okay. The audio seemed better than I thought it would be, uh, which resulted in uh, the audio being probably a little bit too loud. Okay, cab. So you come to the end of one uh, side, there's a parallel one as well, and there's a children's playground or Sanam Dick Len at the end, and of course the obligatory shrine. And going out this way you have the security post, and then it takes you out onto the the main road which connects uh, the main road through town with the highway 340 which I was on yesterday so Tesco Lotus is down there uh, Robinson's Macro Taiwatsudu no kids out playing at the moment you can see they've got all the equipment Swings and slides and climbing frames. <laughs> Thai video. And a nice bit of garden there as well. Some uncompleted houses in the background there, which have been uncompleted for ages. Very cab. Security guard doing his rounds. And in this next side, we have the bigger houses. Whereas a lot of the ones in the side where I stay are up for rent. These ones are almost exclusively owner-occupied. And I think you can see why you wouldn't want to uh, let out one of these houses. They're very nice ornate gates lots of plants outside looks nice even on a grey day hopefully it comes out nice on video and the actual uh, width of the road is much wider here as well so no problem with parking and squeezing past when there's cars parked on either side and as you can see plenty of room inside the gates for a couple of cars as well. So I don't actually know which, uh, what sort of rent you'd have to pay for one of these ones because they rarely come up for rent. I've never seen one in the, what I've been in this uh, Muban for about seven years now. Never seen one come up for rent. 
In terms of the smaller ones, the terraced houses, they're about, uh, well, I pay uh, 3,500 per month down La Sampanha, which is cheap as it's an end of terrace, so it's on the corner, makes it a little bit bigger, and it's got windows at the side on one side. I get a pretty good deal on it because it was my uh, ex-boss who rented it out to me. Private individuals. Uh, oh, there's one. But it's up for sale, not for rent. Yeah, they probably pay about four to four and a half thousand plus deposit to get in. Insurance guarantee. Oh, there's another parallel side, just a little bit further down to the right. Some, uh, some more terraces on both sides ahead of us. And some, uh, some bigger houses here, as, again, as we start to approach the main road. This one you may have seen in my video yesterday at the corner there, under construction. That's the last one. The rest of them are already finished, one of them occupied. These go for over 4 million baht. 4.25 I was told. We're in the, the bang in the center of what is a, a very uh, affluent town, provincial capital, only 100 kilometers or so from Bangkok. Supposedly soon to be added on to the rail link. And so therefore a very desirable area. And I've almost completed my circuit and back to my uh, humble abode. Just down there on the corner. I'm not going to show you inside because uh, I haven't tidied up outside. That's the entrance area, motorbike sitting outside. Little table there where I sit and do my, uh, my language videos. Rusty gates, which the landlord doesn't seem uh, interested in doing anything about. And of course, uh, I can't do it myself without having a, a work permit, supposedly. And that's something I wanted to talk about on a, on a video, is the subject of work permits and whether you can or can't work uh, when you're staying in Thailand. And if you arrive here on a non-immigrant B visa, you've got then three months to get yourself a work permit so that you can extend that visa. Uh, if you don't extend them, if you don't get the work permit in these three months, you can extend your visa. If you get the work permit, that means you've got a proper job as a proper employer and they've done all the paperwork for you. If they don't do that, you can't get one. If you don't have one, supposedly, you can't work. And the work permit will only cover you for one job as well. So let's say, for example, you were uh, an English teacher teaching in a school. Uh, you get the work permit from the school. If you were to do any additional work on top of that, you would need an additional work permit. Or you can also get a second job added to your original work permit. But you still need to go through all the paperwork uh, to get that. You can't just uh, work in the same occupation even though um, you have a work permit. It's location specific, it's job specific. So if you can't do it, you can't teach at home for example, legally that is most people do, but um, the reason I mention this is because of uh, a lot of debate that I've seen on, uh, especially on YouTube videos, especially by one person at the moment, regarding working illegally in Thailand and whether actually doing what I'm doing now 
uh, is working illegally. Now, uh, going back to the teacher example again, uh, obviously you get paid for teaching. But if you didn't get paid for it, if you were a volunteer teacher, you'd still need to have a work permit. You're not just not allowed to do anything um, which constitutes work. So, uh, as I mentioned, painting my gate, painting the railings, a Thai person could do that. So, um, so I'm not allowed to do that. I'm just supposed to pay someone else to do it. Uh, if I did it myself, yes. If somebody had it in for me, I could be, uh, I could be arrested and put into prison, maybe deported. It's highly unlikely that that would happen, but if somebody didn't like me and uh, and uh, had a word with the immigration police, then it could well happen. And it's happened to a lot of people that I've known. Uh, not so much for painting the railings, but uh, usually for working in restaurants and bars and handling cash, that sort of thing. So this question which has arisen about vlogging and uh, whether you monetize it or you don't monetize it, whether it's work or whether it isn't work, it doesn't really matter whether you monetize it or not. If you're doing it, and if Thai authorities, the immigration police, decided it's work, what I'm doing now, then it's illegal. Doesn't matter if I'm getting money for it. Doesn't matter if I'm doing it for nothing. So this whole debate that's going on and this one guy who's banging on about people doing working illegally without a work permit, it doesn't matter in the slightest. He's doing the same thing. He's not getting any money for it, granted, but that's not the question. The whole question is whether uh, filming yourself, walking around, is illegal in Thailand or not. If it is, then all vloggers are arrested could be arrested, not just those who make money out of it. Going back to the example of the volunteer teacher, doesn't get any money, still needs a work permit. And it's exactly the same thing for uh, vloggers. So until uh, Thai immigration come up with a, a definition of, uh, of what vlogging is, which they're unlikely to do, uh, you just have to play it by ear. I wouldn't worry anybody who's getting uh, money for the videos. I wouldn't worry if you're not getting money for your video. Uh, the only time that you're likely to be arrested by the immigration police is when somebody has it in for you. And then it doesn't matter if you're getting money or not. They will find some way to, to get you. Because let's face it, somebody has it in for you. It happened so many times. Okay, that's enough, uh, sort of uh, let off steam a little bit, um, just because I'm tired of this whole debate, um, and I know not many people watch my channel, but uh, maybe word will get around and uh, see an end to the whole, uh, the whole argument. Okay, that's it for now. I think I'll uh, go in and have a cup of coffee and uh, see what this footage looks like on this uh, on this very cheap uh, action cam SJ cam only 3500 baht bit of a bargain it seems to work quite well so far so uh, let's see what this footage is like uh, catch you next time